seems as though you've got to take almost a consciousness leap to get to the point where Zappa really means something to you. Well, all I can say is I play the kind of music I like to play. It, it amuses me to stand up there and do what I do. It feels good to play guitar. I like to do what I'm doing. If there's somebody else that likes doing it, I'm pleased to do it for them. And the more people that I can do it for, the happier I'll be. But if they don't like it, there are plenty of other types of music that are being presented for the same purpose, to get them off in an entertainment type way. So. Sure, but as a musician, you've been coming out with albums like Freak Out, which is another side of you. Um, which seems to be sending up the whole system as such. Well, you uh, have to consider that <clears throat> a lot of people think that there's serious music, yeah. and there's comedy music, and then there's cowboy music, and there's other kind of music and like that. And I think there's music, and there's physical activity, and there's concepts, and there's sociology, and it goes <laughs> on and on. And, and when I compose a piece, all those things are involved in, in the same thing. Uh, you have to consider that any piece of music that's written on paper or prescribed, you know, a set piece, is going to sound different each time a gr different group of musicians play it. And so as I construct things for the musicians that I'm working with, I take their personalities into consideration and build that into the music. Frank, I've got to confess, you know, I'm really more interested in the politics than the music, and I'd like to take you back to this. I'd like to take you back to your article in 68 again to Good. see whether you still stand by this. It seemed to me you raised then a, a very fundamental question, but you didn't answer it. You, you said, the loud sounds and bright lights of today are tremendous indoctrination tools. And I'll cut it short. If the right kind of beat makes you tap your foot, what kind of beat makes you curl your fist and strike? Now you raised the question there, does rock music have that power, do you think? Sure, it always did. So does March music. Yeah. Does it, does it, does it worry you? Well, does March music worry you? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, well, if you were in the field of March music, I'd ask you whether March music worried you, but you know very well what field you're in. You, you, you are, I suppose, the loudest, brightest uh, performer I've ever seen. So if this is about anyone, it's about you. The loud sounds and bright lights. Well. Indoctrination. We are not the loudest group in existence. We are not the brightest group in existence. And we are not about to indoctrinate anybody. Well, However... Is anybody doing that? Uh, there are groups that tend in that direction and use the ability to dazzle a drug-stupefied audience into submission. <laughs> well, could I ask you then to comment on an illustration of the rock scene? It's not your group. It's a very, very different group. We'll just have a look at this. This is a group performing in Australia. Uh. Everybody, everywhere! I said, I said, no beat! 